So what if I told you the Titanic never sank? What? So the owner of the boat, JP Morgan, actually had two boats. He had the Titanic. Two boats. And he had the Olympic. And the Olympic was a little bit older and a little bit more run down. And it was also. So I've never really heard of the Olympic. But then again, I'm not a big uh, Titanic historian, you know. But let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. A little bit more run down, and it was also in some accident. Okay. So the theory is that JP Morgan sank the boat on purpose because he knew he would get a lot of money. What? He did it for the insurance money, right? But why sink the newly built Titanic when you could scratch off the paint, swap the names, and sink the Olympic instead? He just painted the word Titanic over the Olympic? It gets worse. Guess who was on that boat? Who? I know there's a lot of people on the boat. All of JP Morgan's business competitors. What? What the biz? Wow. What? What? And not one of them made it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. So everybody who's on this boat, all the JP's Morgan's rivals, competition, nemesis, homies that he don't get along with, he got them all on the boat and literally annihilated them. What the biz? Uh, but guess who wasn't on the boat? Who? JP Morgan. Was he supposed to be? <laughs> he canceled minutes before it left. Because he knew it was going to sink. And there was a guy. JP Morgan was not on the boat when the Titanic ship went down. But all his rivalries, all his rivals was on the boat. All his homies that didn't like his business or competition to his business. Now they could have been friends, but to him, they were competition. Guy that named James sense. Fenton, right? Who survived and worked on the boat. And on his deathbed, his last words were, the Titanic never sank. It was the Olympic. Wait, what? And he said that if he said anything, something bad would happen to him. So what you're trying to say is the movie Titanic is actually called the Olympic. Exactly. Wow. Okay, I may have found out who sunk the Titanic. What? Okay, remember I told you the Titanic never sank, and it was actually the Olympic, and J.P. Morgan owned three boats. The Titanic, the Olympic, and the Britannic. He sunk them for the insurance money, right? Right, so there's a theory that all these boats sank because of one person. J.P. Morgan? Is it J.P. Morgan? Did, uh, did, did the boat sink because of... Okay, let's stop. I'm gonna stop. No, no, get this. There's only one person that attended all three boats and survived all three wrecks, and they call no her way. Miss Unsinkable. You're telling oh, me that this person was on all three boats oh. when they had their wrecks and survived? Exactly. Her name was Violet Jessup, and she worked as a nurse on all three boats and survived every single wreck. That's suspicious. Right? She survived the Titanic's iceberg, the Britannic's explosion, and the collision of the Olympic. What the? So many... Th Theories have claimed that she was hired to cause all the accidents on every single boat. Well, it may. It's a theory. May not be true. But if you survive three big ships that went down, and you survive all three, that don't. Maybe, maybe not. Makes sense if she's the only person to be on all three ships when they had their wrecks and then survived. Exactly. Wow. People, that, that, wow, people. I can tell you this. This is so wonderful that just the nobodies literally went on these rampages to figure out how these things come along. But this is super, super dope to be interested in. If you like more content, like send it to someone, tell them about it, talk up underneath this video, say a few things, and wow, amazing. Thank you for tuning in. This is, a, of course, a, 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 what the biz moment. Thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate you. And I will see you later.